California homeowners, should you sell your house now or wait until the market gets better? We've got a lot to talk about and it's all coming up. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Warren Oberhalser. I want to start off first by explaining why there's been such a long lapse in me releasing a video. Last month, I was pretty busy. I had a big listing coming up in Castro Valley. And the start of my open house weekend, I tested positive for the COVID virus and I was pretty sick. Fortunately, a great realtor and friend, John D. Marinas, came to my aid. He hosted the open house both Saturdays and Sundays. We had a lot of people go through and it was very successful. Let's talk about what is the market like, especially with my listing I had last month. I want to start off with this property was one of those unique, very cool properties, kind of a one-off, one-of-a-kind type property. There's so much to it. I don't want to go into that. I have a link for the video below if you want to see it. The point is I was able to generate multiple offers. Um, we went uh, pending in three days and well over the asking price. I think we closed um, in 10 days and we were 10% over the list price. Here's what I want you to understand. Three months ago or four months ago when we were in the hot spring, this property would have generated threefold the offers and we would have closed at 20, 25% over the list price. This wasn't a problem for my sellers. They were relocating to another state and that area is much cheaper than California anyway. And the market there is affected just like here. So they were able to purchase a lot more house for their dollars. This brings me to my open statement. Should you sell your house now or wait? Clearly the market has peaked and it's now down between 10 and 15% depending on where you look. Keep in mind, residential real estate is hyper local and we still have low inventory compared to 2019. Mortgage rates are continuing to rise and there's a high possibility we're going to be in a recession, if not already, by next year. The bottom line here is, why do you need or have to sell your home? If you're planning to finance, will you be able to afford that new monthly payment, especially with interest rates now over 7%? This really affects the homeowner who has a mortgage at 2.8%. And this is probably one of the biggest challenges a homeowner has is to walk away from such low record mortgage interest rates. Will house prices continue to drop in California? There's a lot of factors here, such as the Fed rate continuing to rise to fight off inflation. Higher Fed rates has an effect on mortgage interest rates. If the Fed rate goes up, so does a 10-year bond. This tends to raise the mortgage interest rates. As I said earlier, they're over 7%. According to Forbes Advisory, while rates in the 7% range were nearly unthinkable in August, with the 10-year Treasury touching 4% this week, we can expect rates to move in the 6.5% to 8% range through the remaining of this year. Going back to my listing in Castro Valley, out of the seven offers I generated, two of the highest were cash. So for the remaining of this year, it's possible that home values will continue to slide a bit. Not 10% down, maybe more like 1% or 2%. Keep in mind, homeowners who purchased at least three years ago are still up in home equity, given that since the pandemic, we had a rise as much as 25% in home values. It all goes back or comes down to, do you need to sell now? If you don't, and you're wondering, will the value go back up? And things happen. If the government gets involved like they did in the pandemic, interest rates could go back down. We still have low inventory. Prices may rise again. There's a lot going on, even a possible recession. Some say we're in it now. It could hit next year. So a lot of moving parts that affect the housing market. Let me know your thoughts on this. Please put that in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Again, post your questions, comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider doing so so you don't miss anything. If you found this video interesting, you may want to watch these other two that are starting to pop up just about now because I'll go into more detail on what I'm talking about now. So stay tuned. Please reach out to me for any of your real estate questions or needs. And I wish you all the best on your home journey.